Taco Horror, and welcome to Tentacle 3. Alright, and in this episode we finally get to see what the crystal does when we power it up. Alright, here we go. Okay. It's a similar shape to the slot upstairs. Oh, okay. okay, well that was easy enough. It's too hot to touch. I think it's being used as a power source for the machine. Kind of. It's Gotham. Mysterious phone call. I could not read. Diary of Jack Walters, 6th February, 1922. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. opened and I spoke. My colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. When you're trying to I have yourself. learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. Answer the I'm damn beginning phone. to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no else. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. D did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. Remember. Wait, did you just throw it in the trash? A bunch of one dollar bills. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. It's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this j <sighs> What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. 
And the plot thickens. The strange call. And the strange night with the strange life. Ooh, more reading. February 6th, 1922. Night. Really, we need to specify that. What time? I have a new client, Mr. Arthur Anderson, the religion. Regional manager of the First National Grocery Store chain. It appears that First National Grocery has been specifically burglarized and its manager, one Brian Burnham, is missing. From what I have been able to gather, Burnham is something of a young rogue, a friend of a family. Mr. Anderson gave him a job as a favor. Burnham is looking like a prime suspect for the robbery, but there are a few things that don't add up. Not to Anderson and not to me. For instance, why would Burnham force an entry into the store when he had a full, access, full set of keys to frame it, make it look like it was a robbery? Free access to the cash register, cash register. Again, to make it look like somebody else robbed it. And the combination to the back off safe. Back off safe. Really? 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 We're, we're, we're wondering why that he would do that. I don't know. Maybe to make sure that it didn't look like him? To misdirect any investigation? was his plan? Why did he disappear? Because... guilty? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe something went wrong. Following my conversation with Mr. Anderson, I found out what I could about the ancient town of Innsmouth. For generations, a crumbling seaport and his people have been shunned by neighboring communities. Outsiders are unwelcome there. And there are suspicious tales of a strange element in the town's oldest families. There, there are mixed blood, so the stories go... Whatever that's supposed to mean, the unusual hick town prejudice, no doubt. After making a brief visit to Innsmouth, my client came anyway. Distrustful of the local authorities, he isn't buying their line at Burnham Rob the place and wants to know what happened to him. Only one post goes to Innsmouth, and tomorrow afternoon it'll be I'll be on it. It feels good to have a purpose after five months trying to break through my amnesia. I also feel a little apprehensive. Maybe it's the wild stories about the town, or maybe it's just because I haven't had a case in so long. Seriously? It seems strange that after six years, they just give him his job back. Visit to the old town. I do not expect the reader to believe what I'm about to relate. Any sane mind must reject the fantastic tale, and yet I do not know. Okay. I'm not going to be able to read that. You guys can read it. You can pause it. Use with caution. Seventh of February, nineteen twenty-two. Dear Arkham Driver, Asylum, how far did we stop? It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square. Right yes, there. because in the past, Unlock cars the were actually made it's out of metal and wood. Work. You know what those folks like that interfering with our affairs? Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Elizabeth has the means to look after her own. It's like, okay, so going off of what that guy just said, why do you bother to have a bus anyway? Doesn't that seem a little odd? I mean, and the town looks great. Look how clean it is. No trash, no vagrants, everything is polished. There's a headless Let's statue. Into the that's, line. That's a little odd. I don't like the headless statue. That's that's not cool. That, that 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 Although I do love the detail in the bus. Gotta say, this detail is great. But the headless statue could have done without that. I'm pretty sure it was headless. I'm gonna double check that if I am able. And I cannot look around. See, the Oculus Rift News would be amazing. But that's okay. I don't care. It's fine. Dude, you got one nasty hump. I'm guessing that's the hotel. Really? It sounds like this. Okay, just, just, just gonna double check this. Smith to her sons who died for liberty, 19, 1775 to 1781. This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. It's seen better days. Yeah, no kidding, it's headless. Okay. Wow, so much to explore. Ah, oh my god. Uh, okay. So, how do I run? Okay, that's, that's definitely not run. I 
want to know how to sprint, damn it. It's just a trash can. Nothing of interest. Talk to me. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. You are barely human, sir. It is dark in here. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked. Can Riley says I know him. Wow. Old cars. A device that pumps highly compressed air. The station appears to be closed. Yes. Yes. A standard gasoline pump. Eh. Eh, it's gonna be weird having X be back. But yes, this is what a gas station used to look like. It looks like a house. Okay. Ooh. Oh God, some poor soul's hung herself. Is that where you're clobbered on the back of my head? Ah, that's interesting. It's like a stairwell that goes down there, but you can't go down there. Storage depot. It's shut. So many things to explore, and no detail, no evidence to gather. It won't open. Yes. I'm starting to look suspicious now, trying to break into places. The name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Ask Take her. my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, Miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. <sighs> Very well, Mr. Walters. But... Hello again. Uh, Mr. Walters. Look, miss, I only want a conversation. There's no harm in that, right? There's plenty of harm. It's not wise to be seen gossiping with outsiders. How about playing dumb for a few minutes? No. Just ask her... Can you at least tell me if you knew the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Look here, Mr. Walters. I can't answer your questions, and your harassment is putting us both in danger. Please, leave me alone. I in danger? From whom? The Order. Now go! She isn't gonna tell me anything useful right now. It's just a trash can. Nothing of interest. In the alleyway, pretty standard. Well, I can't get to the woman who hung herself. Washington Street. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. In the Solomon's Gallant's mouth. Ha! <laughs> my boys, these are the joys. Wow, of that's colorful. Who love a life in the tempest? What is that noise? The home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out, and the wow, crawling thunder sounds like is gone. And the whirlwinds battle open. out. Ha ha! Do you think? It won't that's budge. Hmm? Who's that there? Who oh, can dear. you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok! That be my name. 
the trip you use it now. Zedor Kellen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's that from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. You're very colorful. They'd not accept individual. that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok no, a it. bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will Going for a beer run. Is. Beer run, booze run, whatever you want to call it. Yep, that's what we're supposed to do now. Great. But we're pretty much out of time, so I need to go find a place the to go The old drunkard save. knows something. I don't think it would take much to get his tongue wagging. Okay, so I need to know what street. You're on Washington Street. Good to know. I have to remember actual street names in a game. It won't open. Yeah, I don't think I can break into any residence. Can I walk up the steps? It won't I budge. love that tiny detail. We can just randomly walk up to things. It won't open. Even if it doesn't do any good. Okay, there's that. Yeah, da, 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 da. Okay, I need booze. Where am I gonna get booze? Wow, convenience stores closed. This must be the place that was broken into. Yep. Stop! You can't come down there! Okay, now what? The police clearly don't want me snooping around. Okay, I need so to be more careful. Okay, uh, by more careful, you mean by not walking right up to them? It won't budge. Okay. Broken archway. This is a pretty small town. Pretty cool, though. Not gonna go down there yet. Just need to find a safe point. Checkpoint, any point. The sign it's says, in Smith's in memory of Lady Warrens. Okay, there's got to be, you know. Ooh, here's a safe point. How convenient. All right. All right. Well, that ends this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to the fourth tentacle. Yes! Please rate, subscribe below, and help this channel grow and keep the horror going.